Hello, everyone. I am Nasaret the Prophetess, aka you could just call me Nasabawa. Okay. <laughs> Normally, I take to live videos, but one of my students asked me, why don't you do one of your uh, throne healing meditations live? And I said, that's such a great idea, but my meditations require a certain connection and I haven't built up a big enough audience to have enough people on my lives to rustle up the energy necessary for the type of throne healing meditations that I do. So the ancestors said, it's still a good idea, though, boo -boo. it's still a good idea, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. So. Uh, thank you so much for at Holistic Diva. She is a new and emerging healer. So please check her out and follow her. She is the one that encouraged me. And she is a longtime student of mine that is now, I would consider, uh, a friend. So very awesome woman. So that is what we are going to do today. The first thing that I am going to do is walk you through my throne tapping me uh, healing uh, method, because we have to know how to manipulate the body. And my throne tapping method has shown to have really rapid results as far as changing your energy body and bringing repair to your energy system. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that. And you can actually do this anytime you feel a little stressed, not just before you go into an ancestor or an imaginary realm um, type of meditation. Okay. Whichever one if you're, you can do this for either or a consciousness exercise. If you like, I ain't really into the ancestors, you can use it as a consciousness exercise. But really, we're going to talk to the ancestors today. That is what we are going to do. I'm going to walk you through my throne tapping method. Then I'm going to send you through a 12 count breathing method that uses your diaphragm to activate your meridian line. Your meridian line is actually goes right through your body and connects you to the cosmos. And this is something that I teach people in a Throne Healing Academy, how to activate that meridian line so that we can be open to the cosmos. A lot of times people try to do meditation where they're just sitting and they're trying to clear their mind. But, you know, the mind is not to be cleared. You only clear what you have addressed. So today is ancestor meditation is a great way to clear what you haven't addressed so that you can be able to now sit down and meditate. You don't have to go through this anxiety, go through your grocery list because you have developed a trust for yourself and for your ancestors. Then meditation becomes super easy. So I consider this meditation actually an intro into stillness mind meditation where you are trying to empty your mind and simply empty your space but we my loves don't necessarily have to do that in order to have access to very important information because our consciousness is our throne and when we connect to the racial consciousness that is our ancestors, the collective consciousness of other people here on ED and the cosmic consciousness of connecting into the consciousness of all things. And Ifa teaches that everything has a consciousness. And if everything has a consciousness, therefore I have the ability to tap into that consciousness of everything. All right. Now, I am, along with the Gypsy Chef, we are doing a special brunch and drumming for Egun and Oshun, where you will be able to experience what you're going to experience with me right here live in person. That is on Full Moon Sunday, August 22nd. She's putting together a fantastic vegan menu that is targeted at our root and sacral chakra and also at 
the Orishas, the main Orishas, Oshun, Obata, Lashango, Ogun, Oya. The, it, let me tell you, it's going, of course, it's Shu. It's going to be fantastic. So I'm going to post some more information about that. And you'll be able to experience what I am going to do for you here live on August 22nd, which will be powerful because we will be under the tutelage ah, of the full moon and we will be able to gather in all of the intuitive information. She will be like an illumination to that day when we tap into the ancestors. So mark your calendars, August 22nd, limited seating available. Okay, they, go, they can't be, you know, my girl, she in the kitchen cooking and making up some wonderful things. So we got to keep it limited. So I am uh, starting a little wait list. If you want to look at that wait list and click there so you can be the first ones to know when tickets go on sale. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll leave a little link in the description. Okay. All right. So first of all, while I am walking you through this, I'm going to give you a second to uh, just find a comfortable place within your home and within your space where you can relax, almost like you're falling to sleep. So I'm going to go ahead and let you do that. And then I'm going to turn on some water music so we can be able to truly be able to connect. You know, life is water. Our bodies are mostly water. Water is the thing that can help calm us and help us usher us into YA, which is the waiting space that we can be able to connect with the ancestors. We can go up a little and they can come down a little, Ashe. And that's how we can be able to congregate to get the answers that we need to be able to receive in life so we can go to our highest and greatest destiny. So when I think about throne tapping, or when I talk about throne tapping, what I'm talking about is connecting and activating the Iwaju centers. Chakras is a very Eastern word. I want to bring in some African words. So let's start using African words. It's one of the reasons why I stopped saying I was a chakra practitioner, a Waju centers, okay? Same concept, but of the Yoruba tradition, all right? A Waju means it is all of the energy body, your energy body that helps you connect to everything else. And so really the first thing that we always need to do in our healing process is number one, make an intention to repair our energy body and two, connect with our ancestors. As long as we are working on those two things, working on our energy body, connecting with our ancestors, we will evolve and initiate into our higher purpose. And so with throne tapping, what we're doing is we are taking those two basic energy centers down here in the diaphragm area. So right here, this is called the womb space right here. And the womb space houses two very important Iwaju centers, the root Iwaju center and the sacral center. And of course, we've got that little solar plexus right here. And then of course, we have the heart center. Now the heart center really is our space of grounding that connects or lets us know Lower vibration chakras we need to connect with the higher vibration chakra. Something is off. And so when we are throne tapping, I am using my left hand, my emotional hand to use that to connect with my womb space while I'm also using my right hand, my consciousness to be able to tap into my ultimate throne, which is my third, third eye. So occasionally I will say during the meditation, squeeze your throne, tap three times, tap three times, tap three times. What we're doing is we are saying energy centers, our God's of issues, I need to connect. And so that is what we are going to do today. So again, when I say, Ah, squeeze your womb. You're going to take your left hand, squeeze that womb center, stimulate that, open up that energy. And then when I say tap three times, your three fingers, one, two, three, 
one, two, three, one, two, three. And all of that will help us be able to connect. In addition, I am going to be walking you through a 12 count breath. So when I say breathe in on four, I don't want to see your shoulders moving and things like that, because we need to learn how to breathe from our diaphragm. A lot of the illnesses, a lot of the anxieties and things that we have is because we are not circulating our ashe, our breath, what God gave us throughout our energy body, throughout our physical body, evenly distributed. And when those air gets blocked in certain parts of our energy centers, that's what can cause illnesses because our energy centers are connected to our gl glandular centers. Thank you, Ashe. And those glandular centers release hormones that cause the physical body to be able to look, this is science and spirit. There's no separation between science and spirit. Science can be spirit. Science is what spirit executes and operates to be able to get things to us, okay, Ashe? And so that's why we need to learn how to breathe from our diaphragms. We need to learn how to breathe up. We need to learn how to breathe down. We need to learn how to send our breath out. This is breath work that you must do. So when I say breathe in on a four count, you know, if you're moving in your chest too much or your shoulders too much, that means that you're breathing more from your lungs, not your diaphragm. When you were a kid, you would blow your diaphragm out like you were a child, right? Oh, look, I'm pregnant, I got my lungs. And then you would suck it back in and release the air. That is a simulation that will allow you to practice proper diaphragmatic breathing until you learn it for yourself, okay, Asha? Very good. All right. Then I'm going to say hold a four count. We need to be able to direct our air. So when I say hold it on a four count, you're just gonna hold that breath. And then when you release it, you are going to imagine that you are sending the air out of your root Iwaju center. For men, I want it to feel like you have a hole right in your scrotum and you're sending air out of that hole in your scrotum. For women, if you're watching this meditation, these feel like you're pushing air out of your JJ hole, Ugh, like that, like when you were a baby. And even if you're like releasing kegels, I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it, I love kegels, make, you, make it tight. Ah. So you wanna be able to move that air up and down throughout. So I want you, even if you have to go with your lungs, I want you to practice imagining the air is moving up and down just almost like a wind tunnel imagine yes very good and even hold your diaphragm make sure you feel that moving okay yes very good all right so that is what we are going to do right now now i don't want you to get distracted on me so i'm actually going to block myself out right now and i'm going to turn off the light and I want you to put your headphones in. Now you know all the exercises. If you need to pause and go back and rewind and, and listen to it again, womb with the left hand, three taps with the right hand, breathe down from your diaphragm, practice sending air straight up and down, okay? Go ahead and rewind if you need to watch that a few more times and practice before you go into this meditation, okay? So go ahead and get comfortable and we're gonna get started. All right, everyone. I hope everyone is super comfortable. That's what we want right now. Now, when we are connecting with our ancestors, it's actually best for us to have our feet on the ground. So sitting in a relaxing chair on the sofa, however you can lean back, relax, and also have your feet on the ground, do that. Now we are going to start above the crown of our head. So this is how I want your body to be. I want you to be reclined. I want your head relaxed. You might need a small little pillow to put under your left elbow so that your hand can easily rest upon your womb. 
whatever is comfortable and easy for you. That's what I want you to do. Just lay back. Put your left hand upon your womb space. Making sure that your left palm is connecting center belly. Right in between the root Iwaju center and the sacral Iwaju center. Very good. Now, we're gonna start with our diaphragmatic breathing while your palm is on your left hand side. And so let's get ready to go. And breathe in, in one, two, three, and four, and hold it. And release in one, two, three, and four, and hold it. Let's do that again as you breathe in from your diaphragm. Breathe in air and one, two, three, and four, and hold it. And one, two, three and four and breathe yes and one more time breathe in and one two three four hold it two three four and release one, two, three, four. Yes, your breath is your ashe. Your breath moves all the information and energy throughout your body. So we're going to use our breath as a tunnel starting at the top of our head i want you to imagine that there is a bright light above your head and that bright light is hovering above you the light is going to cleanse your body slowly but surely allow the light to illuminate your head Let the light fill your head and look for any uncomfortable sensations there in your head space. Yes, now as the light goes down, feel it within your throat chakra and your throat Iwaju center. Feel it there. Let it illuminate there. Do you feel any sensations? Do you need to stretch your neck? Let the light illuminate there now as it goes down to your heart center. Let your heart glow with the light. Let it ease any anxieties that you have within your spirit. Let it rest your soul relax and breathe. Yes, and remember we're breathing up and down, not in and out. Send your breath down out your vajayjay or your scrotum, depending on your birth gender assignment or your surgical gender assignment. Now let the light flow down into your center where your solar plexus is. Let it shine bright. 
This is sometimes where we can hold a lot of energy here that can come off as gastric, a lot of anxiety because we are not expressing ourselves fully. And so in this moment, we are going to be all that we can be as the light goes down and fills up our entire womb space, lighting up the sacral and the root Iwaju center. Now that all of these centers are light, feel the warming sensation going down into your hip area. You may feel some sexual sensations down in your root chakra area. That's not what this is for. If you need to stimulate to relax, it's fine. That's not, this is floor. Let the light shine within your legs. You have energy centers within your legs called nadis. Let your breath lighten those up. Yes. Let the air flow out through your legs. Yes down your calves and out through your feet Ashe. Yes. Yes, Ashe. i want you to relax your whole body and now feel as though your feet they may feel glued to the ground that's good that's great don't let it scare you that's the ancestors connecting with you Yes. Ashe. Now just relax. Yes. Now we're on a beach. Yes, Ashe. I want you to put your left hand upon your womb. We're going to begin the throne tapping here. Put your left hand on your palm. I want you to feel the energy move out of your palm. Let that moving energy go out through your palm. Let it rise out. Let the warmth of your womb connect with your palm space. Asha. Yes. Breathe in. As we're walking along the beach, Go to the water, let the water wash upon your toes as we enter one yay. Yes, and as you see the ancestors, you see their light coming towards you. Bring the light towards you, bring it, will it to you. That is the ancestors, they want to connect with you will it to you bring them close to you bring them close to you they want to be close to you yes I say you feel their connection you feel it Bring it into your body. They work within your energy body. Bring the sensations of the ancestors near you. Let the energy fill your body. That's how they connect with you. They come into your body. Let it feel the sensation within your body. That is love. Let it live in your body right now. The love of the ancestors surrounding you, working on your behalf. 
They're there to tell you that they love you and they want to be connected with you. Do you feel them? Feel them in your body. Feel their love surrounding you. If you feel a particular ancestor coming to you, let them come to you. Let them come to you. And as the water covers your feet, you are swept into the warm, loving embrace of the ocean. And you are not afraid. You are in the water with the ancestors. They are bathing you, surrounding you, loving you, brushing your hair, braiding your hair. Whatever self-nurturing you need, the ancestors want to give that to you. Imagine it to be so. Imagine you're in a beautiful river. All these beautiful mountains are surrounding you and you feel so safe because the ancestors are carrying you to a place. You are going into a cave, Ashe. They want to take you to a private place, an ancient place. And as you are there, you see ancient ancestors. You see fires. You see things on the walls. What do you observe? Those images on the walls are for you. What do you see? Do you see love there? Do you see abundance there? Do you see fire? Do you see despair? What do you see on the wall? Whatever the sensation is, feel it into your body. It's the ancestors. You feel so safe. So safe. Tap three times. I am safe. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I am safe. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I am safe. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ashe, you are safe. My ancestors protect me. Tap three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. My ancestors protect me. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ashe. Breathe into your body. Squeeze your womb. Squeeze your womb. Squeeze your womb. Tap three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I am loved by my ancestors. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I am loved by my ancestors. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Squeeze your womb. Ah, Shay. Feel the safety and the protection that you have. As you see them, close the cave. And now it's just you and them connecting. You are in the middle on one side of the fire. They are on the other side of the fire. Ask them this question. What do you need from me? Receive the answer inside of your body and tap three times. Receive the message inside of your body and tap three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah, shame. Receive, look around the cave, receive any further messages that you need. It's time to go almost. Tell them how often you'll come visit. Ask them, how often do you want to talk to me? How often?
Yes, Ashe. Tap three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Squeeze your womb. Squeeze your womb. Tap three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ashe. Your ancestors, they love you. They want you to come close. They want you to sit with them, stand and rise and walk to them. They bring you into the circle. They hug and they kiss you. (laughs) And they each greet you and send you so much love inside of your body. Yes, Ashe. They want you to know that you are loved. Tell them, I know I am loved by you. Tap three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Squeeze your womb. Tap three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah, Shay. Now they are opening the cave and you feel... A rush of water come in all over you. And like a pool, the water takes you back down the river. Ancestors are with you, but they're not holding on to the raft anymore. You are floating down by yourself. Knowing that you don't need to see them to know that they're there. Say, I know you're here. I'm floating down the river, but I know you're here. Tap three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Tell them I don't need to see you to know that you're here. Say it. I don't need to see you to know that you are here. Tap three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Squeeze your womb. Squeeze your womb. Tap three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ashe. Now you are on the shore again, and you are floating back into your body, which was sitting on the shore all the time, waiting for you, Akshe. Squeeze your womb and breathe into your lungs this time. Nice, deep breath, breathe into your lungs again. And out. And I want you to open your eyes. Yes, slowly open your eyes, Ashe. Yes. You may feel so incredibly relaxed, but if you receive some specific messages, go ahead and write them down. Go ahead and take a nap. Do whatever your body requires of you to do now knowing and trusting most of all that whatever you felt today can be expanded on do this meditation right before you sit down at your altar your ancestor altar do this meditation when you feel like you do not know if they're there if you need to rustle them up and bring them near you I hope this meditation blessed you. Ashe.